travel by water here. Today we're going to look at uh, how we set up our tent when it's a little bit windy. I thought this would be a good opportunity to do that. Uh, we're on an isthmus uh, uh, that we decided to uh, stay at because we didn't want to go back out into the weather on the boat uh, and wind up in some sloppy conditions. So this was the last good campsite for a while, so we took it. Um, the tent is a Marmot Halo 4P and uh, it's blustery. Narrows lock, setting up the camp. Okay, so what I am doing here is I am pegging in the upwind corners of the tent first. So uh, that's, that's the end of the tent that's towards the wind. Uh, one peg on uh, each of those two corners and I'm using my foot to drive the peg in at an angle. Put the pegs in right at the start when it's windy like this. Okay, and now that I have the uh, upwind pegs in, I'm going to put the downwind pegs in. So just stretch the, uh, the base of the tent out flat and uh, tent the uh, peg the four corners. Once you have the uh, four corners of the tent pegged, you start as uh, assembling the aluminum poles. Um, this tent is the Halo 4P. So there are a total of uh, four poles, color-coded poles, two long ones and uh, two shorter ones. So the first ones that will be going into the uh, tent are the longer ones. Um, so you assemble them and then you put them through the, uh, the sleeves, the guide sleeves. This is easier to do with uh, two people, but uh, we uh, usually end up setting up the tent, uh, either myself or uh, my, uh, my partner, uh, single-handed, because uh, one of us is watching the, uh, the little guy while the other one sets up the tent. So we've learned a few tricks to make it easier to do on our own. Uh, basically, we don't try to put the uh, end of the tent pole uh, into the, uh, the dome until uh, until it's through the sleeve. Short poles next. Okay, so we've uh, we've already assembled the poles. And uh, now there's kind of like a little uh, dome uh, thing that we attach them to. And these go uh, around the top of the tent, kind of forming a, a halo. So basically, uh, these, uh, these poles are what give the tent its shape. Uh, this part's fairly easy to do with one person uh, because uh, everything just kind of stays put the way it should so uh, put the uh, the ends of the poles into the domes and then there's little plastic clips that you uh, attach the uh, that you use to attach the tent to the poles okay so there they are in their domes Okay, so clippy things next. So that's uh, little blast, black plastic clips that uh, kind of look like hooks. And they just uh, hook over the poles. So they go both on the, uh, the vertical poles as well as on the uh, halo type poles. Okay, so now the fly. So the fly attaches to the tent base using Fastex fasteners. 
Again, it's a, it's a windy day. So the process will be to start with the uh, upwind uh, side of the, uh, the fly. Uh, so just uh, clip it in with the Fastex fasteners to each of the upwind corners. And you can see how the fly just kind of blows downwind away from me. It's not in my face because I'm starting with the uh, upwind side of the fly. Now that I have the uh, two upwind Fastex fasteners attached, I will now do the two uh, downwind Fastex fasteners. And the final step will be uh, pegs. So uh, I'm going to use uh, lots of pegs uh, <clears throat> because we don't want the uh, the tent blowing away on us uh, in the middle of the night. So uh, I'll rope out uh, pegs uh, and also do them uh, at the vestibule. Uh, you want your pegs pointing downwards at an angle. All right, and here's a look at conditions inside the tent. As you can see, it's a little bit noisy, but uh, uh, it, it's shelter, and uh, I don't know, it'll do the trick. Location-wise, it's pretty cool. It's right beside this uh, 1830s stone uh, fortification, stone blockhouse. Uh, I looked for a shelter behind the blockhouse. But there isn't any, there's just weeds. And I didn't want to go underneath the big, uh, big maples in case we had falling branches. So we're just kind of exposed out here on the isthmus. Okay, so there you have it. Set up the tent in about, oh, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes. Uh, you know, setting up a tent's not rocket science. Uh, just, you know, when it's windy, do your uh, pegs first. Try to find uh, some shelter from the wind, but on this little isthmus, there really isn't any. Thank you for watching the Travel by Water channel.